Hey guys, Keith again with Bulletproof RC. Picked up a new vehicle. Got the Traxxas TRX4 scale truck. Um, picked this vehicle up a couple of weeks ago at a hobby shop. And um, it's actually had a little use. And I've done a couple of upgrades already. Just haven't had a chance to make a video. So anyway, little time today. Decided to catch you guys up on where I'm at. And my thoughts. Uh, first of all, the first thing I noticed when I pulled the vehicle out of the box was just high quality. Uh, Traxxas is known for their durable plastics and um, their arsenal of well-made vehicles, well-made RTR vehicles. Chances are if you get a Traxxas vehicle, you can pull it out of the box and you can run it with a battery without worrying about breakage immediately. A lot of vehicles out there aren't that way. A lot of manufacturers don't make products that are high, as high quality as Traxxas. Um, Traxxas blew everyone out of the water when they released this vehicle because no one really expected Traxxas to bring a high quality trail truck or a crawler to the market. And this thing has brought the goods. A um, couple things I will go over before I pull the body and go over the basics that come on the TRX4. Uh, hundreds of YouTube videos already out there showing you what comes on the vehicle out of the box. Um, one of the things I was not real fond of was the stock tires. Uh, they're okay. They're, they're decently soft for an RTR tire, uh, but they're super lightweight. Uh, my SCX-10 II uh, plastic rims and tires are much heavier than these, and I wanted some weight down low, and I wanted a little bit more, a um, little more pliability to the tires, a little more stickiness, so I decided to try the J-Concept Scorpio 1.9s. I've tried the Scorpios before on a short course vehicle, and they were the 2.2 3.0 version, and I was amazed at how soft they were. In fact, they were as soft, if not softer, than most of the trail tires out there. So when I found out about the 1.9 version crawler tire, I had to have them. Uh, if you'll notice, the lugs are pretty close together, so only time will tell how they hold up against mud and the elements, but I suspect these things to be excellent on the rocks. I did use the uh, open cell foams that were included. They're quite soft. Um, probably going to pick up some dual stage foams down the road simply because this vehicle is kind of heavy. And I believe the sidewalls are going are to create a, uh, a roll happy vehicle. As you can see, the sidewalls can collapse pretty easily with the weight of this rig. Uh, if you're wondering about those wheels, those are uncoated steel wheels by G Made. Um, uh, I put a coat of primer on them and then uh, used Rust-Oleum, uh, I believe it was charcoal gray, might have been gunmetal. I'll have to look at that later and post it below. But um, painted those up, they're a, li it's a little bit darker than the body, but all in all it turned out pretty good. In the center I've got the G-Made center caps uh, that they offer separately. And in the end I believe it's a pretty good look for the vehicle. Gives a little extra, extra step towards realism. Uh, other than that, the only changes I've made aesthetically is I picked up a Yeah Racing tire cover in the in the rear just to cover up the spare tire because the tracks of spare looks a lot different than what I've got on the vehicle. So uh, let's get the body pulled off, and we'll talk about some of the changes I did under the hood. Okay, under the hood. Uh, everything's mostly stock. I did change a few things based on information I had read and also a buddy of mine uh, who lives in a few states away has this vehicle and he's had some problems with both the ESC and the stock servo. Um, basically Traxxas told him when he added a winch and lights to the vehicle it put too much strain on the internal BEC on the XL5 speed control. Now, before you start bashing on Traxxas, you got to remember, this BEC that's inside this ESC is powering four servos. So, it's doing a pretty big job. You got two servos, which lock the front and rear diffs. One servo that shifts from high to low. And, of course, your steering servo. Now, you, I'm sure you're seeing that the steering servo has been upgraded. I put a Power HD 23 kilogram servo in here. The stock servo has plenty of torque and it's plenty fast. 
In fact, I'm probably going to use that in a different vehicle. But I have heard of some people burning up the stock servo. When it gets in a bind, uh, it, it overheats and burns the servo out. But in a uh, short course truck or something like that, the thing is very impressive. It's got uh, somewhere around 200 inch ounces of torque. And I think it's 0.12 transit speed. I don't know, it might be 0.13. It, it, it's decent, decent servo that comes in this vehicle, guys. It's just uh, on the rocks, getting these tires in a bind. And simply since I added weight to my wheels, uh, I wanted to make sure I had the torque there. To power the servo, um, I've got a uh, Sky RC BEC. I had this on hand, had the servo on hand as well already so it was an easy choice to install these two things but this BEC is wired directly to the servo using a Holmes Hobbies uh, RX bypass cable and what this does it allows you to take the positive and negative output wire straight from the BEC to your servo and you just take the control lead uh, from the servo which is the white one on the stock servo it is a orange one on this servo you take the control lead to your receiver, and that's all that goes to your receiver. The black and red wires go straight to the uh, BEC. What this does is it frees up the ESC to power the other three servos, uh, and they can do that effortlessly without worrying about trying to steer this thing. And this BEC takes on the load of the steering servo solely. Now, this BEC has a dual output set up so I do have a, a free um, JST style plug here that I can use a winch or lights or whatever I want to off of this BEC. Shouldn't be a problem since this thing puts out 10 amps uh, which the servo that's in there may draw 3 to 5 amps tops so we should be good there. Other than that everything is stock. I did modify the battery tray just a, just a tad uh, the stock battery tray has a strap that lifts up on a hinge. You can flip it around for 2S or 3S. Didn't fit my batteries very well. My 2S flopped around in it. My 3S, it wouldn't close completely. So I used pre-existing slits that are in the bottom of the battery box. And I just installed some straps that I already had on hand. Voila. Now my battery tray will hold any size battery that's needed. Now... If uh, you're wondering if these upgrades are necessary, no, I don't think so. I think you could stick with the stock servo. I think you could stick with the stock, um, you know, uh, ESC powering the stock servo. And you could stick with the stock wheels and tires, and you're going to be fine. There ain't many people having trouble with these things, guys. This is a dialed-in truck right out of the box with high-quality plastics. Traxxas did their homework, and they have brought a very impressive crawler our trail truck to the scene. So uh, this is just some things to make it mine. Uh, and, you know, like I said, I had some of these parts on hand already. So uh, go out and get you one of these guys. I'm very impressed with it. I put about three or four battery packs through it so far. And it is very impressive. Very fun truck. So uh, that'll do it for today, guys. As always, like and subscribe to Shoe Fits, my friends. And have yourself a great day.